All right, folks, got this 2017 Honda. It's a Ridge Line. It's got the big 3.5, and it has no dome lights. Uh, the guy says since he's owned it, which I think he bought it secondhand, uh, the dome lights haven't worked. He's replaced the fuse. He told me number 18 uh, down by the parking brake uh, lever there, or by the parking brake foot thingy. You know what I mean. Uh, he said that fuse box down there, he puts a fuse in it, and then it blows the fuse, and you know, it's done ever since he's had it. But now he wants to have it looked at. So let's A, let's verify that the fuse is blown. B, I've already verified that the dome lights don't work because they didn't come on. A uh, little door jar light did. But let's see if that fuse is blown. If it is, we'll, um, we'll put one in it and see if it blows immediately. And then if it does, which I hope it does because it's going to be a lot easier to find a permanent short than an intermittent one. And we'll see what we can do. This door open all the way. Okay, so we have a legend. Man, I'm running out of space to see here. 18 number 18 is supposed to be a seven and a half amp interior LT it says so there's a 20 27 and a half 20, oh, okay so it's this one here it's the one that's actually missing uh, what kind of fuses are these let's uh yeah, I'll get some little low profile guys I think I grabbed a couple different jumpers here for us okay there's that one and this takes a regular regular fuse um, okay and then the red LED on it just indicates it open so let's get a regular wonder if we should be smart just stick a circuit breaker in here so we're not just blowing through fuses or we can even stick a uh, a test light in there let me grab a test light okay, let's see just for grins and got 20 amp. we're gonna let the smoke out no we're just gonna briefly touch it I want to see if it okay so it does make some clicking and stuff there of course we don't know the circuit design yet so we don't know all i know is it's a seven and a half amp circuit we've got a four amp bulb here so we should be okay in that regard okay all the lights are on yep so it must run a relay there is no short currently because our light is not on however our interior lights are on so what's that tell us that tells us that we're dealing with a dreaded intermittent however we gotta look at a wiring diagram and however again i can tell you this i have a small amount of experience with these not with these vehicles in particular but dome lights blowing fuses intermittently and i've traced them down to right there so i'm kind of curious does this one have lights on it? That one has lights. Let's just move the... I mean, it's not short right now, so we can't really cause any harm, but let's just move this around and see if we... Oh, you see that? <laughs> Did we get it on the first try? Boom, look at that. Bingo was his name on. We even got a buzzer. All right, we found a short. Look at that. <laughs> Some days it's better be lucky than it is good. You guys want to see it one more time? I wonder if that's on Identifix. If not, it should be. But I did this one time on a Honda Accord, I think. And it was in the in the joint right here. And the only reason I remember it is because it was a pain in the hoo-hoo to get this down. And I it took me a long time to find that in service data. I'm probably gonna have to look it up again. But look at that folks. Let's go look just for poop and laughter. Let's see if this is a a hit on the identifix and if it is if it isn't then we'll put it in there but yeah we're gonna find a short right here um and like i said i knew that solely just based off experience i put it in as a 17 ridgeline lx but i think it's a higher trim level than that let's see here 17 new. I think it's an EX, let's see. Well, what's it say on the front? Black edition, whatever that means. We'll go EXL, cause it's got the leather. It's got the sunroof and the navy and all that. Let's try Fuse 18, see if anybody has a hit on that. No hits on that. Let's go, whoops, whoops. Interior. Uh, interior light. Ah, look at that. Okay, so there is no no hits on the Identifix. It's a TSB. What's the TSB? Let's just see if there's oh, alternator testing. 
Okay, so there is no hits on the Identifix, uh, so we'll definitely have to contribute this. However, before we contribute, let's find out what the real problem is. Uh, like I say, we just got lucky just based on my previous experience from a long time ago. So let's see where we can find out what the real problem is. I tell you folks, some days you just feel like a rock star when you walk up to a car, put your finger on it, find the exact problem. Well, <laughs> now I gotta spend hours on service day. I do not remember how these things come apart and or if the problem is in the problem's in the joint but i don't remember i don't remember anything all i remember is the heartache oh easy fella oh, oh hey now hey josh yeah do you remember what this is going to need break wise for inspection oh that's right it says they have it over here and it says to push the hook in, which is, if I remember right, this is really stiff. And I was, boy, yeah, I think it, I think it is. I almost think you got to push it dang near the point it feels like it's going to break. Um, I can't freaking see. Gosh dang it. I had to go get my readers. I got an appointment with the eye doctor. It was, it's inevitable. But for now, oh yeah. Hallelujah. Let's see if we can push, push, push. Well, well, I'm going to piss around with this thing for a while. I think I remember being down this road, folks. I'm all out of freaking breath, boy. Woo! That was extreme. You got me here with a pick. You have to push so hard it bends the pick. Mother lover. I am literally out of breath. Here's a guy who's overweight and out of shape. So let's pull this down. So got our little doodad here. Let's unplug this little guy, and I believe the short ends up being right inside the sun visor here somewhere. It's got to be where the wire pulls through, right? I mean, that's the only thing that makes sense. I don't know how you take this little guy apart, but. Yeah, trust me folks when I tell you she shorted out because because I know things. So I tell my kids I'm a dad, I drink beer and I know things. So the little hook that you have to push in is on the back side, you know, windshield side right here. And that hole, and you gotta push your little heart out. If I click it over, it's gonna lock in. Um, I don't want to leave the customer without a sun visor. However, I don't want to lose, I don't want to lose our little plug in here. So what about this? What if we, we just stick that right there because I can see the harness. Okay, so the harness is easy to see. The harness isn't going anywhere. We're just going to leave it unplugged for the time being. I don't know how much, uh, you know, how much he uses his vanity here if he's like oh i need to see that's not how he talks but and then we're going to take and just stick this back up in here for the time being because now it's unplugged now i've got to make sure that the little hook just came out i'm sure it probably did otherwise this would fall right back off yes sir Let's look, look, pop back out, and that's it. Now, he's got everything except for the vanity light here, which he may or may not fix. I don't know. We'll give him that option. And uh, that's it. Let's go get a regular fuse, stick it in there, and we should be good to go now. Prior to doing that, though, I put the uh, 
light bulb back in down there. I just want to take it, open up the passenger side here, run her in and out, give her a flick around. Make sure we don't have two problems. I doubt, I doubt we do. And then, of course, this one doesn't matter because that's all unplugged. But there, everybody's in the comment section right now saying, well, how do you know it's not in the roof wiring? Uh, well, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't, <laughs> okay? And neither do you, and neither does anybody. The most probable, likely cause, and like I say, based on previous experience um, with Hondus, is it's in the, in the assembly here, uh, especially as you see how the wires can go move in and out as the uh, sun visor telescopes here. What I can do is if the customer decides to fix this, which you may or may not, we can dissect this and see where that wire is chafed through. Um, you know, where is it rubbed? Obviously it's, you know, we're, we're touching somewhere in there, uh, shortened the ground, uh, which is probably gonna be, you know, like a copper to copper short. I assume that the wires are touching because this isn't touching anything metal I, don't, I think this is all plastic, so it has to be a wire to wire short. So uh, so that's it. And then I'm gonna go put a regular fuse in it. And if he does decide to do it, we're gonna come back and we'll tear this sun visor apart and see what's up. And I'm gonna add the free tip Friday for somebody on uh, the Identifix in case they're having a problem. It can lead them right to the, right to the cause. So I hope it's not a problem for you to leave a comment in that comment section. The questions, the comments, the Insta, the Facebook. And just my viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.